Howdy, space folk. It's Chet Subo Dude, and I'm here with the Swordfish 2 C Class build. <laughs> um, this build is my favorite so far. I've been using the Swordfish as my main go to ship, my home ship, for my entire game. I've, said, I've spent more hours in the ship builder than in the than playing quests, I guess. But that's fine. You know, we each have our own play styles, and mine is a bit slow. So before you ask, uh, this character is a level 28 with piloting level 4 and ship design level 1. So you might need those levels or skills in order to build this. But let's just get into it and I will show you. We will assemble it together. So we're here in the builder and uh, we're going to start with the core of the ship, which is a C class reactor. And this particular reactor is called the Fusor DC 401 from Deep Core. It has two levels to it. You can see the two nodes there stacked. And it sits on top of an Aculander 11 from Stroud Eklund. The lander you can get on Neon. The reactor you can get in most spaceports or star yards. And that's going to be our core. Then we'll connect our landing bay, which in this case is the Deimos 120LD. And you can get this uh, also in the Sol system, mostly. Uh, so you can get it on Mars, you can get it at the Deimos uh, Star Yard, um, orbiting Deimos. And it usually comes flipped like this, but we're going to keep it backward and we're going to attach it to our lander. That'll make up the base of our ship. And, uh, and then we'll put a 2x1 Deimos hab on top of that. I use the workshop because it also comes with a research terminal. And on top of that, another 2x1, and this one is an all-in-one because we need the beds in order to sleep. Okay, so that is the good standard base for our ship. Now we'll put the cockpit on top of the 2x1 from Deimos. And this one's an Armstrong cockpit from Hope Tech. If you have your own landing pad at your outpost, you can get this particular cockpit or you can find it at most shipyards or spaceports and then attached to the uh, to the 2x1 and the cockpit is a 2x1 from Nova and it's the control station which you can find at the Titan spaceport in the solar system and the reason why I use a control station and recommend you do as well is because it has crew stations which is necessary for a good uh, battleship. Uh, also the Nova curves look dope as fuck and it's got that NASA punk theme which I think is very Starfield. Cool so on top of this we have uh, Deimos spying A for aesthetic to slope it into the the back there and then the Slim Docker from Deimos as well. And fun little fact is you can flip this guy upside down and put it on the bottom of your ship. And the halo could even go um, below the grid here and it would still be uh, valid. Uh, so if you want some variety or some versatility in your ship design, there's that. But we're gonna put it on the top. All right, so that gives us our habitable space. And below this little space here, we're going to put our grav drive, which is the R2000 Alpha Grav from Relodyne. Doesn't really matter which grav drive you use, as long as it has 20 jump thrust or more, that's fine. And then below that, I have uh, ballast cargo, which you can get on Jemison. You can also get on Titan, uh, and you can find it at Red Mile and the Key. Probably other places too, but that's just off the top of my head. Cool, this builds out the back of our ship uh, and our habitable space. So let's do uh, the next best thing, which is the front of the ship. And that's gonna start with our nose. So this would be the point of the swordfish, the red point anyway. And it's a Nova Cowling 2L 
BF, which you can get on Jemison and also on Titan. And then below the nose of the swordfish in the anime is a plasma cannon. And it's longer than the nose itself in the anime, so I made it longer than the nose in Starfield. And I used two Tayo Spine B uh, units. Oops. Yeah. And that attaches to the uh, landing gear to stretch out like that. And then we have the Nova weapon mount, which you can get in Jemison or uh, Titan. Titan, by the way, works as like the headquarters for Nova. So go there if you want anything Nova. Cool. We're not done here. We're going to attach next more landing gear. And this landing gear you can only get on Titan. Uh, so it's the NG-15 landing gear from Nova. And that's going to attach right to our core, our reactor. The special thing about these other than the two uh, lander thrust is the shape. It's got that kind of bebop curve shape to it. I don't know what it is, but I love it. So it has that and we're gonna go with it. Now we don't need any more landing gear, that's it. So the next thing we wanna add are the wings. And just like the previous versions of the swordfish, I have the Nova Bracers. They're light, they have a good shape to them. And then we have only one Demos Bracer. I shortened it from two Demos Bracers because uh, the wings just felt too long. Oh, we'll get into the engines here in a second. The wings just felt too long for the more compact version that we have here. Uh, so we'll put that together. Cool. Building out quite well. Uh, so next let's get into the engines. And we'll start with the engines on the wings. Before, I had some Hercules DTs there that were just single engines, um, which was fine with the extended wing shape that I had, but it was too long and it needed to be shortened. However, the single engines were also a little bit too short. Which I know it sounds weird, but uh, I went with these doubles, the DT120s, and you can find these in a lot of shipyards or, or star yards as well and spaceports and just down to one demos so i think that gives us a good ratio of wingspan to like body span and uh, we're looking pretty good plus these each have three max power so we can have a total of four engines that have three max power uh to total in 12. so then the engines that go on the back are going to be the 1000 series from nova uh, and the reason why i use the 1000 series and not the 2000s, which are more rounded, which I think is probably more similar to Bebop's, is because they're lighter than the 2000 series, and they give us a top speed of 140. If we went any higher than this, or any heavier than these engines, it would drop our top speed. And we have a mobility of 100, so I don't think we want to drop our top speed at all. I think it's good where it's at. All right, so that's just the ship, more or less. But we're not done. We do need some fuel tanks for our grab drive. So I use the M30 Ulysses tanks because they're 100 units of fuel a piece, giving us 200 plus this cool shape from the top down, which is similar to the anime and the way that like that metal uh, shapes around the cockpit in the anime. And I think you could stop here if you wanted to in terms of just the ship build. But we want to add some cargo space because of course, you need it. You need it in this game. And if you're a smuggler or you RP a smuggler like I do, then you might want it. So I've got some more shielded cargo. This is the Da Gamma 1000 series of cargo holds. You can get this in a few spaceports. I got this one at Red Mile, I believe, or maybe the Key. Uh, and we're just going to go with two of those. Keeps a good shape. That's why I keep black from the top because it doesn't really take away from the red. But red on the sides, just so it stands in contrast with that black and the black below it. And then we have some more cargo space here, which we're going to stick below the uh, fuel tanks. All right, and so that's going to give us 1190 cargo space, which is pretty good. And if you upgrade your cargo uh, skills, that'll even jump up a little bit. All right, the last few things we have our shield, uh, Guardian Shield Generator from Dogstar uh, 101D. Pretty good because it's got uh, six 
80 on the shield and uh, 6 max power, which is not bad. Uh, however, uh, it does jut out like this, but in the anime, you'll see that on the swordfish, there is a, a metal piece that kind of juts out with a red tip. It's like black, and then it hits red on the end. On the right side of the ship, however, I don't know why, it just drives me crazy having it over there, so I'm going to stick it back over, over here on this side. It feels better. And to balance that out, plus give me a view from the inside, I have a little port window. Uh, here on, on the right side of the ship. And then we have some equipment plates for the bracers because we want to put weapons on top. I won't really get into what weapons you should choose. You just choose whatever you like. But in the anime, Spike has uh, machine guns where these guns are. And he has a uh, uh, some missiles occasionally. And then a plasma cannon, which is what this is. All right, so that's the that's the whole build. Essentially, there'll be a list of parts in the description if you want it. Uh, and I think that this version is way better than all the rest that I've done. It's super sleek, super cool, very fast. Uh, and once you upgrade the weapons, they start to slap. Now, if you want good weapon recommendations, there is a great post on Reddit uh, that I can share in the uh, list in the description as well and if you are looking for future builds i will be posting videos as often as i can uh the next ones will be for the c-class bebop and the aloha o from space dandy uh, the reasons yeah that's good that's that's enough you don't need reasons for anything <laughs> good well i hope you enjoy and uh yeah i'll see you out there so well See ya, space cow folk. <laughs>